Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fruitech few months before we created the most stable and regular supported custom rom review called as Evolution X there are some controversies happened in the developers community and currently only two custom roms getting regular support that is Darfest OS and Evolution X thanks to developer Lenia for maintaining this official build of Evolution X and we got eight another update of Evolution X 7.9.3 if you are new to our channel please do like and share this video subscribe to our channel because we are the only content created who are creating all the official update reviews third party custom rom development reviews and lots of mods and unbreak guides for oneplus not to denny's so to do our again came back with the review of this update flashing is simple just boot to twrp and flash the rom format data even if you are already on the evolution x if you don't know how to flash the TWRP, please follow our video link given under the video description. This is not a just simple review, we are going to in-depthly check the new changes in the about phone in comparison with the old build. We will do the full performance testing with the Geekbench, UiBench jitter and the new test code as the test sampling rate testing. We will thoroughly check out the new changes done by the developers with the review of some new amazing features. Finally, at the end, I shown some bugs with my final verdict. So watch the video till the end. Now, the further do, let's get started. On the new adventure. Device booted with the nice boot animation of Evolution X. Clean flash is recommended to all because of lots of underwood changes has been done in the current build. One spoon booted to the OS, we will check out the first timestamp of the video that is new about phone changes. This is same Android 13 beta build. Once we got the stable Android 14 build by the Google, hope developer will also release the Android 14 beta build before Oxygen OS developers release it. Evolution X version is 7.9.3. Security patches are up latest June 2023, while old build was on the January 2023 security patches. Kana version of current build is 4.14.302, builded with the Proton Clang toolchain 13, while old 7.5 version was on 4.14.295. Build date of current build is of 20th June 2023. Build maintainer is developer Lenia. Sail in X is enforcing. So lots of upgradation has been done as compared to the old 7.5 version we reviewed. Now first we will do the performance testing of this build and we will see if we get any numerical and the day to day life improvement in the performance of this device with this new build. In the day to day use this device felt very fluid, no lag whatsoever I found but sometimes slight delay has been found while opening the applications. Screen refresh rate is adaptive by default, but who gets the force 90 hertz settings under the developers and the OnePlus Extras option, which will force enable the 90 hertz in the, all the applications. Now let's run the Geekbench. Here we got the score of 1184 and 3153 for the single and multi-core respectively. This is an insane score as compared to the old build where the scores are 826 and 2440. After testing the OpenGL and Hukun Graphics GPU performance, we got the score of 4618 and 4829 respectively. In comparison with the old build, their OpenGL has very good score of 4989, but the Hukun score was 4380. So new update has better Hukun score of 4829. Overall, in the one word, the new update can be considered as very good performance both the numerically and in the real world uses. Next test is very important. It's related with the test response of the firmware. It's called as the test sampling rate testing. More the value, more will be the touch responsiveness, which is good for gaming. Open the test sampling rate application. If you move the finger on the screen, who gets the touch input on the left and the output on the right side. Here we got the constant 125Hz of output rate, which can be considered as good and it's same as the stock Oxygen OS. So gaming will be definitely good on this ROM. Still, if you want the full gaming test, then request as much as possible under the comment section. Next test we will do is for the jitter testing, which is correlated with the in-app scrolling, swiping, time required by the different activities to open within applications. Less the value, faster will be the mentioned activities. We will find the jitter test option under the OnePlus extra setting. When I ran the test, it is constantly given me the values above 1 millisecond. Actually, values below 0.5 millisecond considered as a good values. 
that may be the reason for slight delay in application opening that we mentioned earlier during the Geekbench performance testing. But this is not a deal breaking, ROM feels smooth and faster in all the activities. This is all about the performance and user experience testing. Now we'll thoroughly check out the changes in the ROM. First one is now if you are using the 3G SIMs, all incoming call issues has been fixed which is not working in the previous builds at all. Some extra tokens who gets in the network setting like Ho 5G similar like the VOLT means HD calling over 5G network. Smart 5G which helps for the automatic switching between 4G and 5G. Now ROM supports the most VOLT for most of carriers. Automatic brightness control is now working perfectly with the accurate lux values as per surroundings. But still there is some issues that we will check under the bug section of the video. For better lag free user experience, developer has added one extra toggle under the more setting of the OnePlus Extras option. This is called as the enable hyper threading mode. But this will cause some minor battery drain. I tested it and I can say it's working but it's not a big visible difference. Under the display setting we get some advanced options like the desktop mode. This will help us to mirror the phone screen display on the PC or on the Android TV with the HDMI cable or wirelessly. But I didn't test this because I don't have HDMI OTG cable and wireless mirroring procedure is unknown. But I will report it with the community post soon. Next important feature called as the battery friendly pocket mode. Its toggle is available which blocks all the hardware buttons when proximity sensor gets blocked and it didn't wake up the screen at all. Similarly, another feature called as the pocket detection blocks the screen wake up when proximity sensor gets blocked and if you try to use the hardware buttons, it will show us this pocket mode screen. But it's not completely blocks the hardware buttons. Under the ambient display gesture, we get the hand wave toggle which help us to wake the ambient display only when we waves the hand over the proximity sensor. Haptic feedbacks are now a lot improved. And I can say it's now closer to the stock Oxonos level who can tune its performance using the vibration control option available under the OnePlus Extra setting. Now back gesture has this new back arrow key icon and the animation. Under the recent option of Evolution X launcher, who gets the shake to clear all feature which is convenient feature to clear all, all the applications from the memory easily. Next changes for the camera, developer removed the camera go and now we have the camera light version. And it's working good with some basic functions like the portrait mode, night mode and the HDR mode working fine. But it's a pretty basic application so I installed the Gcam 8.4.60 version. It has almost all the things are working like night mode, portrait mode for the both the front selfie and the main camera. All the wide angle camera modes are working. HDR mode with the frame control is available. For video shooting slow motion is also working but for 180p and 4k recording. I didn't found any FPS control setting. 4K video recording is also working good. Both the panorama and the photosphere modes are working very good. So basically third party camera application is now working fully. Now it's time to show you some minor bugs. First one is no media cover art is working for online media on the lock screen. It's not working for any Android 13 custom ROM for any device. I didn't know when it will be going to fix. Hey Google Voice activation is only working for the on screen mode. It's not working on the off screen mode. For ambient display gesture feature, pickup gesture is not working at all. Though the automatic screen brightness is working, but still sensor application is showing the sensor service error in the firmware. These all bugs are minor and not deal breaking to use this ROM as a daily driver. This is official ROM regularly supported by the amazing developers. It's fully functional with the minor flaws with the amazing performance both for the day to day activities and for gaming. So as per my opinion it can be considered as a good replacement for the stock OS if you are bored of Oxon OS stock ROM. So that's it for today guys hope you liked my work then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching soonest time take care bye bye.